All right, we got an all new episode and season of The Gifted on Fox tonight. Actor Stephen Moore joining us this morning to chat more about the show. Hey there, so good to have you on Good Day. Hey, nice to see you. You too. Thanks for being with us. Okay, let's talk about this show. You guys have an amazing group of fans, die hard, that just absolutely love this. Uh, I got to interview a couple of the stars in the show last year. Uh, let's talk about being a part of this, what it's been like for you. It's a lovely bunch. Uh, <laughs> we all, you know, it, it's when, when you're thrown into a group like this and you're sort of away from home, you know, we're mm -hmm. all filming in Atlanta, you sort of, you sort of live in each other's pockets. Yeah. So That's somebody who might be your kind of enemy in the show might be your best friend outside, you know, so it's really lovely. We, we all kind of, we all hang out together and we go out on weekends and we go and see, you know, music or movies or yeah. this, this, this past weekend. Our gang was all out playing, um, um, I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? Football, you know, that you play <laughs> baseball, that you play with a, with a ball. Like kickball. dodgeball? Oh, kickball, kickball right? okay. All right. So that, that yeah. was what was happening this weekend. <laughs> all right, a lot of teamwork. You know, uh, a group of mutants. Yeah. You, you normally wouldn't hear them described as lovely people, but really, from the little our, I've interacted our, our with... Our mutants <laughs> were very good at kickball. I just want to yeah, let you good, know that. That's good, good. But no, the cast does seem like a very lovely group. Uh, I got to ask you, yeah. uh, are you a big comic book fan or were you growing up? I didn't grow up in that world at all, no. but I did love Spider-Man. And so, um, so my, my first entry into comic books as a kid was, was, was that. Mm -hmm. My parents bought me that stuff. And I remember that very first Tobey Maguire movie, that yeah. Spider-Man movie, uh -huh. when he, and I was like 25, 30 at that time. And when that movie came out and he was flying through the city, mm -hmm. I was transported back to what it was like as a kid, going through those, those pages, so I have an absolute appreciation of it, but I didn't read the X-Men um, comic books until I started this job, and, and Marvel made all of those comic book runs yeah. available to me. Yeah, do you feel a lot of pressure from, from Marvel, from fr fans of Marvel, or, or just, you know, comic books in general, to, you know, get it right, do these characters justice? You know, you do feel that a little bit, but I think that the, the fans of the comic books and the fans of this Marvel world are so excited to have it put in front of them that they're very adaptable. They will, you know, they will kind of go, oh, look, yours, your, your world is different from the one that I, I was expecting because it uh -huh. does this and this and this. And they're more excited about this sort of opportunity of, of seeing these ideas come to life yeah. than actually sort of being critical of how it's done. So it's actually, sort of adds to their world, if you see what I mean, yeah. rather than kind of, um, you know, is different from what mm -hmm. they're looking for. So they're very supportive of what we do and, and always excited to see what's happening next. Gives them another way that this world is coming to life. Uh, for those who, real quick, oh, we yeah. gotta go, but I wanted to get you, uh, have you get us oh. caught up for, for, for new viewers of the show. You know, what are they gonna see this season? Why should people start tuning in if they haven't? You're going to see mutant powers and superheroes and, and mutants fighting against each other and, and trying to sort of create this world for themselves and humans that believe that they're in the wrong and humans who believe that they're in the right and all of these different groups trying to fight for their own little piece of turf. Yeah. And, and there's love stories and there's Blair Redford getting his top off tonight if you watch this evening, which you girls will be very happy about. So there's loads to see. Yes, a little something for everyone. All right, Stephen Moore, thank you for joining us. The Gifted airs tonight on Fox 7. Thank Have you, a great Lauren. day. Bye. Bye.